So the Kunoichi just received a lot of changes on the passive and uh, I'm pretty sure a lot of you are still kind of like what the fuck is going on and stuff. Well basically in the past you couldn't stack your bleed. Your bleed is whenever you use a skill, say I use two plums there, you'll see my seal is blue. And if I use any other skill, say like cripple once, it'll turn to red which is three. The seal will be three. And once you use one of these four skills, Touch of Death, uh, Shadow Geyser, or Cripple, Shadow Geyser, uh, the, uh, Crip, the Touch of Death has two charges, that's why I said four. Bas basically, whenever you use the last hit of Cripple, Touch of Death, or Shadow Geyser, it will trigger the seal, applying a severe bleeding on the enemy. And basically, you get the buffs after that. But what they did was, you couldn't stack up the seal. The bleeding, the excessive bleeding, it lasts for 3 seconds, and that's how much the bleeding does. And you can't bleed the enemy again until that one expires. But now, what you can do is, now you can do both. Now you can actually have different tiers of seal going on at the same time. Does this increase the, the damage, the overall damage of the class? Yes it does. Is it by a lot? No, because unfortunately you can't really trigger your passive as, e as easily. This Kunoichi is the class with the best skill linkage. If you see the skill combos, this class has no skill combos. It sucks. The combo sucks. All right, so you can't actually use any skills to actually like trigger your your passive. Uh, you need time to build up the seal as well. And if you realize here, yeah, this. This level 1 bleeding is just 1% of the enemy's max HP. It's not exactly a lot. <laughs> just saying, it's not exactly a lot. You need the level 3. Level 1 is crap. By the way, that's one thing. So now you can stack up your excessive bleeding, your severe bleeding, whatever you want to call that. And the second thing that they did was, now, whenever you cast a severe bleeding, you will have invisibility. Now this is one thing that complements my playstyle, the gay as fuck, the gay Noichi playstyle. Full Siret, full stall, full gay. Literally, this new change makes my style even more gay. And uh, I'll show you what I mean. So the way this thing works is, if you have your passive up and you cast severe bleeding, say I'm gonna use my touch of death, I can evade and then I'll turn invisible. Look at this. I'm still invisible, by the way. Can you guys see that? Okay, fine. I'll, I'll, I'll do it one, one more time, alright? Look at that. I'm invisible! <laughs> so literally, I can just stab someone. And I'll go invisible. <laughs> it's fucking nuts! It's a, it, it, it's actually nuts! It's crazy! This thing is crazy! So now it, it makes you able to go even more gay, which is fucking awesome. <laughs> um, that's one thing. Uh, so the way this works is, the stealth takes time to actually trigger. So if you say you want to do this, I'll just show you what it does. The optimal way to do this. You see that? I can just run, run, rinse and repeat. <laughs> Look at this shit. I'm just permanently invisible. I'm just permanently invisible. Look at this shit. This, this thing is so dumb. I'm telling you, this thing is so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, if you haven't seen that one already, it's called the Gay Noichi playstyle. I'm pretty sure I've already uh, shown you somewhere. Uh, I'll just put out the, the thumbnail on the screen for you guys to see. Um, basically, those are the two, the only two changes that I would say matters when it comes to Kuno. Everything else about her is still the same. I have uh, a total of three different kinds of clips for you after this. I got one where I'm literally just playing with the bleed set. It's a troll, obviously it's a, it, it's a troll match. I got that one, I got one of those. And I got uh, two fights against Phil Han using Kuno. And this was 
probably the most garbage well, like the most garbage match that 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 i've got like literally titan is fucking tanky you can see i'm literally just comboing him over and over again but the fucker just won't die he just won't die and that's it's pissing me off all right he just won't die so kunoichi's damage is still kind of garbage uh i mean it's not it's not garbage but it's not amazing you know it's not great it's not even barely great it's just okay comparing that to sura is ooh, mind blowing all right like absolutely garbage but uh, everything else is nice kunoichi has always been my favorite class it, it, has, it has always been the class that began it all this is the class that began my journey as a content creator i mean you guys can argue my first class in this channel is the primrose but it was the kuno that made the channel started it was the kuno that grew the channel to the channel that you know now by the way this one is not a sponsored video this one is not a paid for content as well this is 100% from me because I want to share this with you and um, I just hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video thank you so much for watching and I'm gonna see you guys again on the next one by the way for the combos it'll be pretty much simple it's gonna be Viper Strike into Cripple into Shadow Plume into Touch of Death into Shadow Plume into Shadow Geyser and then into Grab and after you grab someone, you can actually just follow up everything with your uh, Shadow Plume or you can use your Touch of Death into your Reign of Steel. You can use Touch of Death and then Shadow Geyser and then uh, Reign of Steel. That works as well. Or you can just go like, if you're me and you want to go stupid, you can also go like Touch of Death into Cripple. And then uh, before, like the moment the last of Cripple clips, you want to dodge out that one works as well or if you're a scaredy cat and you don't want to just you don't want to be like a dick you can just go like touch of death evade once and you'll be on invisible this one will deal significantly less damage than if you actually commit full full commit going say like um cripple in after grab you go cripple one one hit into touch of death into rain of steel this one will, will deal the most damage however yeah it it's just if you want damage, then that's what you do. By the way, this is it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. And I'll see you guys again soon. After this one, there will be the... I will first show you the uh, the, the full arena clip. And then after that, I'll show you the fight where I was trolling with just bleeding damage and big toxic as usual. I I, I, I did that to, to, to the dude because he rushed me, alright? So he deserves it. And then the last after that one will be the Phil Hunt fight absolutely garbage fight uh i hope you guys enjoyed we were both bleeding out it, it was very fun and i'll see you guys again on the next video enjoy emotional damage